Hello, this is Pastor Ewing speaking to you as we prepare for our sermon this weekend. I want to ask you, out here in nature, if you can hear what I'm hearing. I can hear the birds singing. Maybe you can hear it where you are, too. It's music to my ears. The bird song is beautiful. And maybe these days you've got a little more time to listen to them, but you've got to take the time to hear their beautiful singing. Now, maybe right now in these days of social distancing, of isolation, of loneliness, it feels like no one's listening to you. And I get it. We're all by ourselves. It stinks. Perhaps worst of all, sometimes right now it feels like God himself is not listening to us. Even if we do go to him in prayer, it, it certainly feels like he's not answering things on our timetable. When we ask him for a quick, quick end to this virus, he seems to be taking his time. Is God really listening? Well, our psalm for this weekend, Psalm 66, addresses that. I'm going to read verse 18 to start, where it says, If I had cherished sin in my heart, the Lord would not have listened. That is, God does not listen to people who continue to live in sin. God does not listen to the prayers of sinners, to those who ignore him. So, he didn't, and doesn't. When Jesus cried out from the cross, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? God didn't listen. But instead, he punished Jesus for the sins of the whole world. There Jesus bore all sins. God did not listen, but let his son die. But you are those who have laid your sins on Jesus. God does listen to you. He promises always to listen. His thoughts must be that your prayers are like bird's song to his ears, beautiful and pleasing. As the psalmist continues in Psalm 66, But surely God has listened and heard my voice in prayer. God is listening. He cares about everything that is concerning to you. He knows what he's doing. And he may not answer your prayers the way you want or on the timetable you would like, but he will answer them according to what is best and right and good. He has promised it in his son, Jesus. So listen, listen to God, listen to the beautiful birds and pray. God is listening to you. Amen.